So I've been organizing my bank because it's been pretty messy for the past few videos and it's such a struggle finding items because I have to actually go through the little search option. And I don't like doing that. I'm a really organized person so I need to have these items in tabs and each tab has to have one specific concept. So this first tab is fish or just food in general. The next one is potions and anything that has to do with potion making. So yeah, I've been working on getting 20 mining and smithing. Right now I'm at 28 mining, pretty good, but I'm at nine smithing. Now I need to get 20 for both because I need to make a silver bar for the nature spirit quest, which I was supposed to do like two videos ago, but I've been trying to get all my XP from questing because I don't want the quest to go to waste. So it's been taking a while. I got the majority of the mining levels here through quests, which is freaking awesome, but there's not a lot of quests I could do to get smithing up to 20. So I have to manually mine the ore and I'm gonna have to smith some stuff to get it up to 20. So I've been getting tin and copper ore. Essentially, I'm just going to be making the highest item I can make for bronze. And hopefully, with the amount of ores I have here, I can get up to 20. So I think I'm going to do a couple more inventories of tin and copper. I've been going over to the mining site over down uh, south from Barok, and I get one whole inventory of, of tin and one whole inventory of copper. I just bank it and repeat the process. Nothing too difficult. It's kind of boring, but, you know, it has to be done. So I'm going to do a couple more inventories, like I said, and hopefully, with the amount of ores I have, I can get up to 20 smithing. So we can do nature spirit and then we can finally do tempo tracking and get some more silver bars because I'm not going to make 2000 silver bars to train my crafting. Fuck that. Okay. Apparently I can't use the edge furnace yet. If I try and use it, uh, this guy here, this guy here, Jeffrey, he says, keep away from that. It is dangerous. That's a problem. I need to do the Varrock easy tasks in order to use this furnace. And uh, I don't really know furnace locations. I just know this is a very good location because the bank is right there and the furnace is right here. So I definitely want to do these tasks to use this furnace to make the bars because I don't want to be running a long distance somewhere else from the bank to the furnace. This is a really short distance. It's like a couple feet away. So we're going to do the tasks. We only have to do the easy ones. So it's not going to be too long. It's not going to be too difficult either. So according to the RuneScape wiki, I'm going to need about a few thousand coins, some bones, soft clay, logs, an earth talisman, or just any way of getting into the earth altar, which I'm probably going to use the abyss because that's the only way I could get into the altar. A cup of tea, some feathers, and 50 kudos, which I could probably go get now because I've done a few quests. I just I just have to go speak to the historian. So let's go get the stuff and then do the easy tasks so we can smelt the bars. 15 museum kudos is all I got from all the quests I've done. That's kind of bullshit. Come on, man. I've done like a bunch of other quests. Can't you take some of this information as well? 15 kudos. I need 15 more, but... I really don't want to quest that much right now. I want to get those bars done so I can do the nature spirit. So let's see if we can find another furnace so we can make our bars as fast as possible and move on to nature spirit. Okay, there's a furnace here in al -Kharid. And can I use it or do I have to do some sort of... Okay, we could use it. Awesome. And if I'm not mistaken, I know this for a fact, the bank is over here to the southwest, which isn't too far. It's not as close as the Edgeville one, but I guess this will do until I can get 30 more kudos, uh, 15 more kudos to do the easy task for the Edgeville Furnace. Okay, let's see how many smithing levels we can get out of all the ores I've collected. Okay, I'm at level 19 smithing, 332 XP left for the 20 mark. I've been making bronze square shields because I kind of did the calculations to see which uh, which item would give me the most XP for my bars. Now, here here's the thing. When I first look at something that I'm about to smith, I look at the XP per item, and if it's high, I go with that one. That's a huge mistake. I was going to do one of the weapons or the bronze kite shield because it says it gives you 37.5 XP each one, but it uses three bars. Now that's not really worth it if you do the math. 28 divided by three is about nine bars, or I mean uh, nine bronze kite shields, and 37.5 times nine kite shields is about 330 something XP. If you compare it to the square shield at 25 XP and 14 square shields, that's about 350 XP. That's about 20 XP more than if you were to do items with 37.5 XP. I don't remember the actual XP for the five bronze plate bodies, but it was less than 350 XP, so I went with the bronze square shields. Making these gave me the best XP possible for my bronze bars because I really don't want to waste any of the materials that I gathered because it took a while. And we are about to hit the level with the next one. There we go. 20 smithing. Now we can go mine silver ore and uh, make it into a silver bar so we can do nature spirit. You now have all the levels you need for the elemental workshop one. And 20 smithing is one of the requirements for the tourist trap, which I don't remember that quest at all. But see, we can make the silver bar now. So let's go do that and start on nature spirit. 
I still have 56 more bronze bars, which I'm not going to do right now. I'm going to do after I finish the quest because I've been waiting so freaking long to do that stupid quest. So let me get the requirements and then we can go on to Canifus and do the Mauritania shit. Here we go. I have the bar and the sickle mold. Let's make the stupid silver sickle. And this is the only thing we need for the quest. Okay, we can't. Why can't I make this yet? Partially complete the nature spirit. Okay. Okay, I guess we can't make it beforehand. Let's go over and start the quest finally and make this thing do the quest so we can move on to temple trekking. Hello, Drezzle. Give me the quest that will make me train my crafting, please. Now, I am going to be fighting at three level 35 ghasts, which honestly shouldn't be much of a trouble because I'm level 50 with pretty decent combat stats. They're not even decent. They're pathetically weak, but it's going to be good. Accept the quest. Thank you. Okay, he gave me some food. Perfect. Now, this isn't for me. This is for Philoman, which we have been tasked to find. So let's make our way over to Mortmeyer. I think it's this way. I'm not entirely sure. Let me look on the map. Yeah, Mortmeyer. And I think he is somewhere inside. I don't know if he's past it or if he's somewhere. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, let's make our way into the Mortmeyer swamp. Mortmeyer is a dangerous, gas infested swamp. Do not enter if you value your life. Well, luckily, I don't value my life with all the student debt, so let's say fuck it. Let's go, in, let's go inside. Now is the time where we run because I don't want to lose all my food. We gotta find a small round island with a broken bridge. So let's do it. Get the fuck away from- Oh no, one of the pies! That's not good. I think I found it. It's this place. Let's go over there. Did I go the wrong way? Yes, I did go the wrong way. Let's go over there. Don't eat the pie. Jump across. We don't want to- we don't want to lose any more pies. There we go. We made it. Oh shit, is he dead? Oh my god, I forgot to bring the ghost speak amulet, so now I have to go back to the bank. And then probably lose another pie in the way back. Okay, I've done the majority of the quests now. I have my blessed silver sickle, and he gave me this little druid pouch. Now I have to just fill the pouch, uh, collect some of nature's bounty into it, and then defeat the three gas, and then I think that's it. So let's do that. Let's operate this thing, and I need prayer points for this, so that's why I brought some prayer pots. Put that into the purse, or the pouch. Is that not how it works? I need at least three things for it to work. Okay. Okay, now I think it should work. Let's invoke this mother effer, and then we can defeat him now. Okay, that's one down. Two more to go. Now, if I stand here in the middle, will I get two mushroom pieces? No, I only get one. Okay, it was worth a shot. Let's get three more. It's kind of a hassle if you think about it. And the last one. My mistake was getting more mushrooms when I didn't have to. Apparently, when you kind of like fill up the pouch, you get more than one charge on it. I had five charges. So getting that other set of mushrooms from this log was kind of stupid. I'm just going to ult this bad boy because I can. Fuck it. Nice. Grand finale. And I think we're done. Now we can go speak to Philemon. Let's go. I always fail this bridge, bro. What the fuck? We have completed Nature's Spirit quest. I have been awarded two quest points. 3k crafting XP. It's a lamp, which is pretty... That's a pretty decent amount of XP. 2k construction... I mean, constitution XP. Lamp. 2k defense or defense XP lamp access to Mortmire's Swamp and the Altar of Nature, and three, uh, 30 prayer XP each time you kill a ghast. Not bad. We're at 43 quest points. We've come a long way, guys. Continue, and this place looks absolutely beautiful now. I like it. Welcome to my Altar to Nature. Farewell, my friend, and keep those ghasts at bay. Okay, I guess he's gone forever now. It's kind of sad. That saddens me. And we got another pouch. Cool. Oh, this is like a summoning place. Okay. What's the use of this? Like, if that's really far away from a bank, why would anybody use this? This needs to get updated somehow. Oh, this is like... Okay, I can restore my prayer here. It gives me a little prayer bonus. I can infuse stuff, and I can enchant my sickle. So this... This is this place is pretty cool. Okay, let's use these XP lamps. Let's do the crafting one. I'm at 31 crafting. Let's see how far this gets me. Gets me to 33. 
Not bad. Level 32 crafting is one of the requirements for the darkness of Hallowvale. Okay. And we can do all this good stuff. Let's do the other lamps now. Let's do the constitution one. Uh, I'm at 35. It's going to give me one level. Exactly. Yep. And the last one is the defense XP. I'm at 40. This is going to give me one level too. Cool. Did I get a combat level? No, I did not. Okay, that's fine. Okay, this is gonna sound really, really stupid because I record my videos, whoops, I record my videos with in within like intervals. I don't remember why I was doing Nature Spirit. I remember why I was doing uh, the 20 mining and smithing because I needed the silver bar for this quest, but I don't remember why I needed to do this quest. Oh, okay, never mind. I remember. I needed it because uh, it was one of the requirements for In Search of the Mire Key. Okay, we've done that now. Oh wait, that's right. The whole point of this was for, for uh, temple tracking. What am I doing? I had a moment, I'm sorry. Okay, we've done Nature Spirit and we have 25 agility, so we can do In Search of the Mire Key, which unlocks temple tracking. So that's gonna be for the next video. I'm gonna cut it off here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.